I learned a lot today, Grubby. Thanks. No probs, Matt the Shadow. My pleasure. Greetings, friend. So are you going to be a Gazlo main when the next patch comes out? I don't think he changed that much, did he? Stop. Uh, by the way, stop drop Andrew. Thanks for subbing. And thank you, Resikan, for the inbound. Thank you very much, dude. Hope you're doing well. Mahalo. I learned a lot today as well, and then you started oh, streaming. You. Made my day even better. Great That's funny, analysis. Omega Star. Mahalo. You went to school. When does Core do splash damage? My Since 1996. Greetings, friend. Thank you for serving Moser Man. Oh oh, it's an Illidan. Prefer not tank. Oh. Well, I can play tank then. Uni, actually. Ooh, big boy. Are you gonna update the tier list next week when patch drops? Um I'll try. Actually, I could do it. Yeah, I could do it. I could do it earlier than that, actually. Greetings, friend. Tassel S2, Let's thanks for fly. subbing. How do you link your role in chat? Shift. Greetings, like this. friend. Shift left click. Stratus pawns, thanks for serving. Balloon, grant bring the mega I bring the mega buff. Oh, he's also a tank. Oh, that leaves me to be able to do an ranged auto attacker. I might just go for naked body attackers. I thank you. Hey, Grubby. Thanks for that awesome gray main game yesterday. My pleasure. It was a pleasure to watch. Some of escapes were grub Tyke is actually pretty good here. Hell, it's about damn time. Is uh is Tyke's nerfed already his range or is that next patch? Oh shit. So I'm melee, right? Tychus is melee. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti yo. Tychus is less range than Avatar. Whoops. I think the two-part patch notes really confuse me as to the chronology of things. The so what's my range now? Four and a half. Mega lol. Show the doggy. Sure. 
Hi, Logie. 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 Hello. The gates shall open in ten seconds. <laughs> Five, yeah. four, three, two, sure thing. one. Oh, dear, Jimmy. Kill, fight, spread my spores. <laughs> okay, okay. Press the advantage dash combat tactician. Uh huh. I hope you got a plan. I get press the advantage. Get back what little range I I, I need. Trigger fingers all. Oh, I love this medic. Man, I played that so well. Work. Jesus, I I did so many damages on him. Amazing. Nice healing, chief. Well played. Tyke is still good. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Impressive. I literally run a gun forward and minigunned him. I played that so well. I did so much damage on them. They're never going to live it down. Spectacular. I did die though. Uh, it's about trade off. It's about understanding when such trade offs are worth it and when they're not. About damn Goliath time. online. Sick has been waiting to see you play him. Thanks for the game tips. Sevens for luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. If only I had that extra range. I know. Really, really weak now. <laughs> it's killing time. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Uh, I will get. The bigger they are, I don't think I'll ever get in the rhythm again. With how the healing has been nerfed. After it expires. I didn't try Chogal yet, no. Look at that stutter step. Micro. Man's gotta do what a man gotta do. They got stunned. Ah, uh, we can still take gems. You're rushing me. I think we can still take the gems. Nice. Walk the walk. The dawn has come, heroes. And with it, my children must rest. Harvest the result of your efforts, heroes. Bring Vault. <laughs> Caltrops. No magic word. Oh, I love this medic. Your terror is starting to work. Nice, Woodpecker. Sounds good. Any chance to see you play the neutral Gaur or Proteus today? Uh, I'm leaning towards just playing Hero League, just as a as a heads up. You never know. Do they have a lot of roots and stunts? Roots. 
Yeah, I'll get Relentless Soldier. Nice, Vala died it to the plant. Extra AA range on E seems like the obvious answer to Tyker's nerves. Exactly, that's that's how I did it. But would the dash quest help as well? So I actually have a specific strategy for Tyker's pre-nerf. If I go for in the rhythm with uh, that's the stuff, I get the range pre-patch. And if I go sure for thing. the bigger they are, I oh, get the dash. Yeah, and it, it ties in with how I imagine the playstyle to go. I'm gonna go Commandeer Odin. Uh, allow me to elucidate in a bit. Whatever it takes. So when you have the bigger they are, you can burn a single tank, a single warrior to 40%. Hold on, it's a bit hard during, during all this. I try to explain after, okay? I think we can go back when you have the bigger they are you focus on burning a single tank to 40 percent having them rotate out of the fight or dying and after that what do you do you want to use overkill and grenade and possibly run and gun to kill squishies after the warrior is gone it's you versus the squishies so you go for the overkill build at 13 and 16 to do really good damage to squishies who are generally fairly mobile so you get the movement speed from dash dash offers movement speed which allows you to track people very well with overkill whereas press the advantage gives you only basic auto attack range so it doesn't have any positive interaction with overkill so if you're running an overkill build you would want dash ideally as a run and gun power point whereas if it's about auto attacking as best as you can it's about press the advantage now, the reason, oh, the reason to play overkill build is to burn squishies. Squishies are more vulnerable to it, whereas minigun has uh, a percentage damage component. Overkill does not, so it's going to be comparatively more effective against squishies. Now, if you get that's the stuff and in the rhythm, you're focusing on a really long duration minigun, more percentage damage, which is great when they have multiple warriors. Three seconds, the bigger they are, is not enough to remove both warriors from the game. That's what you need in the rhythm for. It's going to take longer. But then that's the idea, isn't it? It's always going to take longer against squishies. Ah, uh, sorry, against mass warriors to burn through the health pool. They have bigger health pools. So that's where in the rhythm and that's the stuff comes in. You get a lot of healing, a lot of sustain, a lot of sustained damage, sustained healing. And you remove many warriors' health points. To be able to auto attack effectively and safely, you need the range. On, press the advantage. You do not need overkill talents. You're gonna get that stuff for new steel coating to be able to sustain yourself through warrior fights who have a lot of crowd control effects. And then at 16, you probably get Titan Grenade, which does more percentage damage, which again helps with warriors. So I would not go dash when I am focusing on doing a full minigun build. 
Even though it also allows you to track them, it forces you to come nearer warriors, which is really risky when you consider the abilities they have to put you out of position, like power slide, overpower, and so on. Greetings, friend. However, I feel like all of that kind of changed. I feel like maybe now with the new Tychus, you kind of need the bonus uh, range to be effective at all. So now I'm breaking my own rule and I'm going for press the advantage with the bigger they are. Just because I feel like his range is so bad without it. But I hope that you understood the rest about it. And why am I running overkill build even though they have two warriors? It's because they nerfed the shit out of that's the stuff in the rhythm. Because now the healing from that's the stuff since the patch is after it expires. If you do a really good job with in the rhythm. You'll have like a 7 seconds long minigun. That means your healing is delayed for 4 seconds. The better you do with stacking, the later your healing is. So it has a negative component, which is originally unintended. And I'm going to assume it's entirely unintended. I'm gonna go for armor piercing rounds. So I will never get that to stuff again. Even just in protest of them not realizing that they made this mistake of a nerf. And that's also why I will never get in the rhythm again, until proven otherwise. I guess with four giants, the correct thing is to ignore seeds and to just push. Sure thing, armchair general. Why not the ECDR with multiple charges at 20? I mean, I would never go for a build willingly where I get both the CDR and the multiple charges. It makes the multiple charges less effective by comparison, you see. Let's say if I did want Combat Tactician, I would not combine it with Bob and Weave. The longer a cooldown is, if you get multiple charges, the better. Wait, is that true? Or do they regenerate simultaneously? Then it would be benefit. Hmm, I might be wrong here, actually. Oh, I'm gonna have to take a rain check on being sure about that. So Caltrops! Why do you delay? No terror lasts forever. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. <laughs> Cool thing with the level 13, you can outrange towers. What else could you possibly be doing? Uh, we're losing it if I'm not taking it. He might be taking it, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'll just go bottom. But, um, yeah, combat tactician is okay, I guess, but I never really like talents for uh, short range heroes that rely on getting auto attacks off. Like short range ranged assassins. Like, if you get this auto attack off, you'll get more run and gun. Like, it's never something you can rely on. And I don't think run and gun is that great to begin with, especially without press the advantage dash. Oh, I missed my auto attack? What?
What else could you possibly be doing? Does Tyka's minigun or Grammy Cursed Bullet work against plants? Minigun, yes. Cursed Bullet specifically says it doesn't work against vehicles. Uh oh. Fast out fly. Hype. Hype train! One more, one more, two more for the combo. Two more and you win the game. Come on, War Crash and Monster Bear. If we lose now. Oh man. Why do I see people get the laser as ultimate and competitive? Odin should be seen as the safe alt, Zulan, the safe alt, and laser as the optimized damage alt. Odin has a resistance and a range component, whereas laser simply adds 250 DPS, 250 damage per second, on top of whatever amazing stuff your minigun overkill grenade are doing. Can laser be picked anymore with the new range? Uh, well, since Tyke's base form basically got nerfed. Whatever it takes. That means that Odin by comparison went up in value compared to laser. So however often you saw laser, that should be slightly less frequent now. All other things remaining the same. And now it's time for big red button. Big red button. Sure thing. Okay, we got some nice seats. Oh, hello. Oh, our plan just dropped to 40-30% already. It's just dying to Vala. Oh, my range is nothing. She can't port to anything. But she's still too fast. Now what? There's nothing left. Shut up and die. Nice 
death sure does suit you. Killing spree. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Such chase. <laughs> okay. Yes, we can. That should teach them a lesson. Don't split. I mean, don't group. Remember, boss does splash. Anyway, Illidan is tanking everything. GG. My infestation spreads. Vala is like MVP. <laughs> it's Superman who gets hit by Kryptonite bullet that kills him. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> wrong superhero. Greetings, friend. Oh, I avoided the epic. Greetings, friend. Can I get six Nazibo impressions for my six month three so less than three? Bra uh, ice. I hear the call of the wild. Uh, I don't know the, the fifth one. I'll just repeat. Bra I there you go. Thanks, Davos Seaworth. That's gonna be that's gonna be as much as you'll get from me. No seven months, seven times. I got friends on the other side. Thank you. <laughs> the truth bonds you. The spirits whisper agreement. I got a PhD at PvP. <laughs> that, that one is so good. Alright. Nice and tangle. Your tangles are really spot on. You're nearly always waiting for your allies to set it up. It's very important. Thank you, Ninja Raiden. Uh, Twilight Dream would kill him. If you wanted to kill him. Yeah, I think you should have just used it because it would represent the killing of the fort, the stopping of the chase, and so on and so on. It looks like you guys are going to get him anyway, but yeah, it would have prevented you from having to dive behind the fort.